Want to go around? What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. <sighs> Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our Constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The Peace Constitution. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no. They don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? The authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. The CIA. As you both know, the United States views Central America as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate balance with the U.S. And your government can't just give them the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. I understand that you and your men have neither state nor ideology that you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The government's agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. 
Tell them if they want. I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh... They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. Sixteen years old. They did terrible things to her. But somehow she managed to escape. Oh. My God. She's Huifana. Her mother died when she was small. And she lost her grandparents in the Civil War. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant, our mother base. The signal is unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all times and pay attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the left stick to move. Use the right stick to adjust your view. To change your settings, use the start button to open the menu. There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select the target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the X and B buttons while holding RB to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with LT, then press RT to fire. How about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a coconut. Select equipment by pressing the X or B buttons while holding LB. To check your map, Press the start button to open the menu. The M16 is a standard assault rifle, capable of rapid fire. The facility you're headed for is past that fence. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. You throw them, Snake. Use LT to ready throwing weapons. Once you've readied the weapon, throw with RT. When using throwing weapons, hold the attack button down longer to throw farther. You won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Snake, don't you think you could use 
Just a little more practice? I gotta thank you for agreeing to this snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. And break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her, for aren't her, you? For her. For her. Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place we can finally put down some roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, Kaz. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a sec. That would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Gah! This damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, Kaz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. was a heavy smoker. When I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs, so I quit. I've not had much use for it since. It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss. That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> I don't have a name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. Land as slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet. Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. 
Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo cassette player. The first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Now it gets interesting. Poisonous. I need to get rid of it. I chase it back to its nest. You can't. The snake's too vicious. It's all... Many people... I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. Boss. Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. Wh what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission, or your beliefs. I... I am loyal to Boss myself. Boss is alive in Costa Rica. Who's that? As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. Job. Snake, it's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country. Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Peace then.
There they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. This is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. To press up against a wall, face it and hit the action button. From that position, you can press LT to detect enemies. That also works while lying down. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your sight gauge. Exhausting it will inhibit your actions. Your life gauge will recover with time. The sight gauge too. You'll recover faster crouching than standing up. Lying flat works even better. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. I know I saw something. You're looking for a two-story building to the east. Yes, sir, we broke them. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. Freeze! 
The cargo. Where's it headed? What is it? Air suit. In the mountains. What's up there? Clear. You found a radio. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Kaz, this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Yeah, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy Mother of God! How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSLN Commandante. <laughs> Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Tree, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opinol will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA is up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. 